Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel for those who haven't already and you want to know whenever I upload a video, click subscribe, hit the bell notification button and you're done and you know. I try and be consistent, it doesn't always work out that way. Now I'm not too sure how, how well this video is going to go. Um, you can tell I'm quite, I'm uh, really quite excited. I've just got back from an absolutely epic trip to... Paris, France. I, um, basically, it's the first time I've left the country since January 2020. So I hadn't been anywhere since the pandemic, so I was super excited about that. I was going with Bestie Lorna, so I was super excited about that. And we were also joining five others, so I was super excited about that. And I must admit that some of my friends were like, are you too excited? Are your expectations like up here? Are you gonna, you know? Um, and I have to say, my trip exceeded all expectations. So, firstly, massive thanks to Bestie Lorna. Um, check her out on her channel, which is Lorna's Style. Um, Emma Anders, Amelia Rose's Closet, Bag Addict 71, and check out Wild Unfilters blog and Instagram. I'm going to put links to everything in the description box below, but um, basically thank you to everybody else that I went with because we just, we just had so much fun. Uh, yeah, the hotel was great, the food was amazing, the shopping was amazing, the company was amazing. We just had an absolute blast. It was two nights, three days, and we just had so, so, so much fun. So, firstly, a little bit about my packing. Like I said, this could all over the place, this video. A little bit about my packing. I did carry on only because basically I can never be bothered to queue to get my bags afterwards. So I did carry on only. That had pretty much everything in. And then just used my huh, Kelly 28, which I haven't put away yet. Um, and then I packed a Kath Kidston fold away tote flat in that carry-on bag and you can now see it's full of French goodies. Unboxings of everything is going to be in video two. This is video one. I did some customer research. Thanks again Wild Unfiltered and we're doing it in two videos. So what do we do? I'm gonna, it's not a vlog but I'm gonna insert clips and pictures so it's not just me sat here talking to you because um, well that's boring. So yeah we met everybody and we unpacked and we went shopping. Um, firstly, massive shout out to the hotel. By the way, not sponsored, they don't even know that I have a YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, the uh, Astatel 123 on the sh uh, Elise's, Shop de Elise's, um, I'll put a link to them below as well. Great hotel. Um, yeah, not super expensive or anything. This, you know, this really isn't, I mean, it wasn't like hostel or cheap or anything. But, you know, if you're looking for a really good mid-range hotel in Paris with decent sized bedrooms and bathrooms, which is sometimes hard to get in Paris, with a great location and just, it was the customer service that uh, really made it. So, um, fabulous hotel. I recommend it. Um, it's the second time I've been as well. And, um, yeah, they also do um, afternoon snacks in the afternoon. You just help yourself to cake. I mean, that's reason enough, isn't it? Um, and you can also help yourself to cake any one of the chain and they give you a little map. We didn't, but we could have. Day one, we uh, after we'd unpacked everything in the hotel, we met up, did a little handbag family portrait, um, checked out each other's rooms just because that's what you do. Um, and then we headed out and we had tried the day before to get all of us, all seven of us, to try to get an Hermes appointment the day before, um, we were all rejected, never mind, um, and it would be rude not to try, wouldn't it? But we headed to the um, Louis Vuitton flagship store. Um, I think one of the great things is going on holiday with a lot of other lovers of luxury shopping is people have essays all over the world and they managed to get appointments, so it meant it was great. We'd turn up like all seven of us There'd be an appointment so we wouldn't have to queue, there'd be champagne brought out for us. It was a really, um, 
lovely experience. So yeah, I very much just enjoyed riding on the back of other people's uh, good relationships. Um, so yes, I went to the LV flagship store and were very well looked after. Looked at loads of handbags. Um, there was one particular, I'll, I'll, I'll insert pictures and things as we go through this. One particular little bag that was really cute in ostrich. Um, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. I was like still holding out for Hermes. Still, you never know. Mini Kelly could be coming my way. It's not. Um, so yes, yeah, so we uh, so we uh, yeah went to the LV flagship store and it was really great. There was a pair of earrings that I was after, so I asked them about that. They didn't have any in stock, um, but they did say that the Louis Vuitton in Saint Germain did. So um, after we'd spent quite some time drinking champagne and trying on lots of bags, there was a number of items across as a group that we were all interested in. Um, Bessie Law and I then headed out, did a brisk walk to Louis Vuitton Saint Germain where they did have the earrings I wanted, but they'd been used as a display on the mannequin and had got damaged in the process. So um, I didn't buy them, which was a shame. Um, but they did have another pair at the airport, but I thought, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Um, I wasn't going to any special effort to get them. And then we, whilst we were down in Saint Germain, we went to Hermes, um, and it's just the most, it's actually my favorite Hermes store. I, I love it. It's um, used to be a swimming pool actually, and they've completely converted it. And it's just amazing to look at, to look around. The staff are really, really friendly. Um, we went to the Felberg store earlier in the morning and it wasn't so good. It wasn't so good. Although, I did manage to get my nail polish in, in Greer Tube, which I've been trying to get since launch. So I was very, very happy with that. And also some samples of their tinted moisturiser, which I'm actually wearing shade 40 today. Not sure. Not sure. Not convinced. Um, we'll see. We'll give it a go. I've got like a couple of sachets, so um, I can give it a go. But I did get my nail polish, so I was very excited. Um, so yes, yeah, so we also checked out the other. So we went to two MS stores that day, and then we just uh, had dinner in the evening at the market restaurant, and I had a lovely bit of simply cooked cod with a beurre blanc sauce, and it was all very very nice. Um, and yeah, we just had a great evening, just um, just everybody just chatting and I think it was really nice for me as well, you know, sharing time with some other YouTubers and YouTubers that are, you know, much more successful than me and, but just sharing stories of, of, of things that have happened and, you know, um, some of the different comments that you can receive from people which are quite amusing. I mean, most of them are lovely, but sometimes you get not so nice ones and sometimes you just get plain weird ones um so yes it was quite interesting just sharing stories of that and then also you know other collaborations and some of the things we've been asked to partner up with so we just had a we just had a a real um a real giggle really that well the whole trip was a giggle um so yeah and then day two we went to a different louis vuitton because why not uh and we went to louis vuitton at champs Elysees which was really fabulous. I really love the service there. I love that store. Again, there's another round of champagne. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Um, and we were just free to, you know, look around the store as we wanted to. Do this is right. Yeah. Yeah. This is right here. Sure. Yeah. Cows, cows. And they stuck. Ah. Bonjour. I asked about the earrings again because I was there. They didn't, um, but they did actually offer to see if they could get me a brand new pair in from the warehouse, which was nice. And so they let me know next day if they got them in. So I was like, fine. I gave them my number. Uh, won't hold my breath. Like if meant to, again, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Um, and then so after we left Louis Vuitton, we went to the Dior store on 30, Man 30 Montaigne. So the absolute. Um, the flagship store and we had managed um through Lorna Styles uh, SA who's kind of my SA as well but I don't buy enough but he, technically he's mine <laughs> oh yeah um anyway and we went to yeah it's an amazing store they had a whole host of store exclusives there as well so some really amazing bags some amazing like exotic 
uh, you know, mini lady jewel, lady jewel bags, just an amazing selection of items. The store itself is just really impressive. Um, even the loose. I'll insert a clip of that. Um, so yeah, it was it was just amazing. Um, we sat down and ate. We had a reservation, and we sat down and ate. And um, Joshua very kindly uh, um, arranged for some champagne for us for to go with our lunch. That was really, you know, really quite sweet. And um, you know, we're all very grateful for that. And um, it was lovely. Thank you, Josh. So yeah, I had a rather large lunch. <laughs> Then we had to rush off because Amelia Rose's closet had arranged for us to have a Chanel appointment at Rue Cambon um, and her essay was again lovely, couldn't do enough for us. I mean it's, it's quite something I think when like you know seven people descend on you and they, everyone wants to look at different things but she was really patient, really lovely, sorted us out with, with drinks. Hi, cheers. 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 Bag, shoes. Um, and yeah, we had great fun. I tried on a whole host of bags. And again, I think some of the tone of that day, it, it really, it really set the tone for of the of the whole trip really, where it was all very much yes, we're enjoying luxury shopping, but it's it's all very relaxed and it's fun, and I think that's the main thing is is for this to not be taken too seriously. Um, it is, you know, it, it should be fun. Um, I, I I think that handbags are supposed to bring joy into your life. I've, I've always said that. So yeah, we just had a great great fun. In, in Chanel. I think I have enough colour in my life. Oh, I think my, my bag wardrobe is quite muted, muted and neutral and I think I'm going to add some colour and sparkle. Because you only have two. Because I only have two and I need six. And you need both three. I, mean, I know you have oh, I don't know, it's appointment yet. That means four oh, Chanel. Oh, that's all right. We'll have two Birkins and a Mini Kelly. We'll have four Chanel 19. We've already been to Dior and now let's go see what else we can find. Woohoo! And then we had dinner at Lulu's. Um, so again, it was all great. All seven of us went and met up. And again, it was just a nice, relaxed evening of, you know, having a drink and having some some really nice food ag again. So, yeah, very, very much enjoyed. Very, much, I very much enjoyed the food. You can tell that. Um, and then we couldn't believe it that, that we'd reached day three and it was nearly all over. But we went to Goyard in the morning, had to queue to get in for a little while, but that's fine. We were, we had a bit of a giggle on the way over. We tried to, tried to get some uh, Amaz appointments again. We were all rejected whilst we were in Lulu's um, or, or shortly after because you know, the emails come through at different times. So the all final, final attempt. So. Hey Lorna! <laughs> Deborah! And we are there at Gallery's Lafayette and uh, not going in, not going in. Yes. 
so we we had a go at that and um yeah just um we we didn't we didn't get appointments so yeah so we went to Goyard and we queued to get in and then had a look and I, it was an amazing store actually it wasn't very large um but it was just something very you could sort of see the heritage of something very classy. I don't know if it's just like almost like the old fashioned carpet and stairs and everything in the interior. Um, but really nice service, really, really nice service. We were very well looked after. Nothing was too much trouble, you know, whatever we wanted to look at. And again, there's a few of us in there together. So, um, yeah, really, really good. Um, managed to get what I wanted. So that made it even better. Um, and yeah, great, great ex experience. And then, whilst in Goyard, I got the text message to say that my earrings had come in. So, um, I left everybody else going back to Chanel, because there's some other stock due in there. So they all went back to Chanel. I raced back to Champs de Lise, to LV, to get my earrings. I then dumped everything off at the hotel and um, walked to St Germain. Um, I could have Ubered, I could have used the Metro. But we were so blessed with the weather. It was, you know, I was just in a t-shirt and then in trousers. So it was just amazing to just walk around the city and take photos and take a selfie with the Eiffel Tower in the background. And um, and to be honest as well, I think I was, by that point, I even I was actually, I was actually shopped out. So um, I, uh, I was quite pleased to just go um, and then while some of the others were horsing around, quite literally. I am. <laughs> come on, see, come on. The walls you go. <laughs> I like the fact that you get into character. <laughs> I need a photo as well. Um, in, in Hermes, I basically joined a, a couple of the others and sat in the cafe. Had a lemon sugar crate. Had a full fat coke uh, and, and, and some sort of caramel ice cream and I was in my element and that was, it was nice actually that we kind of, the whole holiday was, was finished with all of us together, chilling out and just enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the ambience of Paris, it's a beautiful city and yeah overall we just had a thoroughly, thoroughly good time. That's probably the like worst kind of sum up ever. Um, but that was my time in Paris. It was very special. I met some very special people, and um, you know, a lot of us came away going, "Yeah, we got friends for life here." So it was really, really good experience. And um, who knows what the next trip will be? Next video is gonna be unboxing of everything that I got so I will show you uh, yeah I was a bit I, I, I there's some good stuff there um some exclusive stuff some yeah there's some good stuff uh, across a whole range of brands and types of luxury goods so yeah check that out that'll be video two and um, I'll film it right away so you haven't got a lot long to wait and I will see you again soon take care everybody bye